All right, welcome back. This is how to reduce inflammation. Uh, really, this has been a series. Um, but for, um, as you can see, it's probably the same outfit. So you know that um, this is the second video. So anyways, we're, um, we talked about earlier how much obesity affects. We, we just, we've been, we been in deep and on obesity. Okay, and girl, child, I'm looking at, um, at my videos on my, I'm going to have to go back to Zoom now. Because I've been using up so much videos on my, um, you know, so much, I guess, time on my phone. So I'm going to have to make these things snappy and start deleting all of my videos like I was before. Make sure I post them faster. So anyways, uh, we're, getting, we're going back um, to how to reduce inflammation and how to abuse immunity in the body. Okay. Um, one of the tips is increase omega-3 vitamins. Omega-3 is um, excellent for inflammation, inflammatory conditions. I actually have started taking, and I have um, seen, I, I, people have always, always said that I had nice skin. However, um, I did on my legs have very dry patches for some reason. I don't know if it's eczema or something like that, some type of uh, skin issues. Um, however, when I started taking that, I have noticed that my skin on my legs have really started to clear up. It's very, my skin has been very, even more silkier and smoother than normal and um this is just a plus um however it's also helping with some of the um, internal inflammation so um doing the increasing the omega-3 vitamins and some people say omega-6 vitamins too, but i think you have to be careful on your different ratios so make sure that you go to a um, a good source um flaxseed oil is good uh, a lot of people like that uh, some people take sardines um there's so many different forms of omega-3 salmon a lot of um, cod i believe too as well the next thing to avoid, we're looking to avoid inflammation and boost our immunity. We need to make sure to avoid sugar. These things, um, sugar is highly inflammatory and toxic. It destroys our body, our tissues, our cells. It does, you know, and now I'm starting to find out that um, a lot of these things, because um, I've gotten my own, um, I've been looking through my uh, mineral balance and science. A screen isn't just seeing how my thyroid has been affected um, by being overactive and a lot of this has to do with stress and some of eating um sugar you know cheating okay I, i'm not gonna lie sometimes since the pandemic i have increased uh some of the now what i'm learning i, I knew about it but now i am now there's different uh <laughs> I, there are there's two different types of knowing knowing through experience and just knowing because somebody told you okay so now I know through experience that um, it seems like when I start to increase my um, some of these endocrine disruptors that I start to um, feel, have more inflammation within my body, more mucus. And just within the last two weeks, um, I decided that, you know, I am going to change some of these things. And I've, I've been able to see a, a decrease in mucus. I've been, um, you know, just feeling it's just, I, my my voice. Different things have been feeling a lot clearer. Just so many things um, you wouldn't believe. Just the amount of chemicals that we indulge in on a day to day basis. How these things um, affect affect our um, affect our you know our bodies, um, weakening our, actually are weakening our immune system. So and, co and making us more susceptible to degenerative diseases. You know, as we as I'll talk about in all my uh, videos. So sugar is diabolical, girl. Throw, throw that sugar away. They say that sugar is as high as as um as addictive as cocaine. Okay. So we need to throw this stuff. Throw, girl, throw the creamy, throw the sugar crack alone. Don't leave the sugar crack alone. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way how to say that. Okay, we need to throw that thing in the trash where it belongs and really limit the amount um of uses of this uh of this type of um i'm going to talk, call it a toxin okay um another thing that helps to um, release inflammation and helps to, helps the body uh cool down and um you know stop producing so much cortisol or, or reduce some of the cortisol release is to um, do exercising now if you are like i'm someone i have dealt with adrenal fatigue so sometimes i deal with fatigue tired so if y'all see me being moody in the morning y'all know why it's not that i mean it's just i don't want to be bothered okay my body is tired and some of y'all wonder why i don't come to work early <laughs> that's one of the reasons my body has to adjust and um now i'm going to be doing my own health journey especially um concerning these endo um as, as um, concerning some of these um endocrine dis disruptors 
and really start to eliminate and see how I feel. And I'm going to be um, showing you guys through my own journey with the uh, mineral analysis of balance science and um, some of the ART testing, how my own adrenals are, um, are getting better. So, um, you know, so that's one of the things that we need to be mindful of, avoiding that sugar, doing the exercise. Okay, uh, now, okay, that's what I was getting to, adrenals. If, you, if you're dealing with, say like me, I've dealt with adrenals, um, you know, being a little bit underactive or a lot underactive, so I don't need to do a lot of intense exercise. That's why I do not encourage a lot of people to exercise because um, I find out a lot of women are in the burnout stages of stress, um, you know, so pretty much just being in stress for years and years. So their body, um, you know, they're just putting too much um, stress on their body. That's why um, I do not really encourage, especially with the mineral balance science, we do not encourage a lot of people to do a lot of extensive exercise to get healthy. There are a lot of other ways to get healthy besides, um, you know, over overexerting oneself. Okay, now stress. Now this is a big one because I deal with this and I'm always, um, since I, uh, especially since I got my holistic practitioner certification, some people may think it's rude. Some of my clients may think it's rude. If you call, if you, uh, call me on a day, like, like I know it happened today. If you call or text me on a day that I am off, I am learning the, um, the importance of life and, um, and work balance. It is much needed. Um, a lot of women, because we put a lot on our plate, we are in, um, you know, like I said earlier, we are in the burnout stages of stress. If you do not find ways to reduce your stress, Stress will take you out. I've, dealt, I've had family members who had to quit their, um, their um, jobs because of the, the level of stress. Their stress management, it was um, causing autoimmunity or auto, autoimmune disorders within the body. So the weed doctor, you know, child, I got to protect myself, baby. That's all I got at the end of the day. I mean, I got Jesus. <laughs> I have family, too, and, you know, a great husband. But... At the end of the day, you have to protect yourself against the stress. Find ways, and um, I've been working more, trying to do more yoga, um, doing, um, trying to do more meditation, and trying to make sure that I keep prayer, act the act of prayer life. All of these things help with the chi, the energy in your in your life, with circulation, help with your mood, and help with the cortisol levels, which um, is, you know, if you. You know, what I'm learning is that when you do not handle stress properly, if you're, if you're stressing out the adrenals and thyroid, then you will um, have a weaker immunity. Your body will not be able to fight off infections as of someone who was in a more healthier um, mental and um, just stress state in their body. So that's another thing I have been doing on my days off. But this is just an example. Maybe that you can you might want to try it. If somebody is giving you um, bad news and doing a lot of excessive excessiveness on your days off, you don't address it on that day. Uh, um, prolong it to the next day. You know, let it curry over because you have to enjoy. Um, and that's you guys have to look at my other videos talking about the endocannabinoid system and how all of these things are stimulated by um, happiness, doing things that are um, that calm our system. That's why CBD is so good. Um, taking walks, reading books, playing, drawing. Singing, all um, all of these things help the endocannabinoid um, system and the vagus nerve. So we have to um, maintain these things as well if we want to stay within good health. Okay, now um, also we want to talk about some supplements that are excellent for um, inflammation. Um, I know vitamin C is very well, garlic, um, taurine. Taurine is really good, especially for fast oxidizing those who deal with a lot of infections and allergies. Turmeric is exceptional, is, um, is, is wonderful. A lot of people love themselves some turmeric. Now, it does drop your blood pressure. Now, I learned that the hard way. Okay, I was like, whoa, child, I'm feeling dizzy. I can't feel like I can't hardly stand up for a long period of time because I was taking too much turmeric and ginger. So, if you deal with, um, or if you deal with um, low sodium or low, you have a lower blood pressure, you, you might want to monitor this and you might not be able to take it every day. Also, now we find out there's an uh, man, one of the best, and they're, it's so good they're taking it off the market. The government is trying to stop you from getting um, healed naturally. They don't want you to be your own doctor. They don't want you to, they want you to go to the um, licensed doctors, you know, who have um, malpractice insurance, okay? They can kill you and don't go to jail. 
Now, I, this, <laughs> I'm not against doctors, but there are some things that I am against, especially um, with the, how the FDA has regulated um, many things, and especially how um, our constitutional rights have been, um, you know, have been interfered with, with us choosing our own form of um, whole, um, practitioners and being able to, you know, just the whole regulation of the um, health industry. So there's some big things that the weed doctor does not approve of. So anyways, um, anyways, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, that is an excellent uh, precursor to glutathione, gets you some honey. They're saying that it helps, it can, it could possibly, it's, it's been some studies that it has helped some individuals with COVID and it's helped a lot of different um, people that had um, serious bronchial um, infections. At some, that some people that are asthmatic, they take it on a regular. So, you know, it's a lot of things that's out there that can help. And then the other day I found out when I was in with my own um, uh, bout of inflammation, I did this um, detox and it really brought a lot of toxins to the surface. So I had to then uh, tried to cool my system down. I had took activated charcoal. Activated charcoal has also been sh um, shown to help um, repair tissue repair and el also help with the cytokine storm that, uh, uh, that occurs after, um, the, after the virus, um, you know, gets into your system and certain tissues and certain areas in the body. So um, activated charcoal is excellent. And um, lastly, we want to talk about, now this one I don't necessarily do. Um, again, I don't really do a lot of prescription drugs. Really, I don't do any uh, prescription drugs. Um, but, I'm, you know, you have to, to each his own. However, there is some research that says that um, staph infections can also be treated. Um, now, that's one thing with inflammation. We have to make sure to keep, um, to keep the different many infections in our body at bay. I learned in the mental balance science, some people can have anywhere from six up to 50 different infections in the body all at one time. That's why a lot of people have sinusitis, arthritis, all these things are forms of infections. That's why we have to make sure that we stay on a mucus-free diet, uh, start to eliminate these things as, li as little as possible, as much as possible, for example, um, avoiding dairy if, pos if, if you can. I myself have started t doing more dairy and I have noticed that I have more mucus um, you know, even though I do like that dairy is great for fast oxidizer because I do have a very fast metabolism. Metabolism, however, um, you might want to um, watch the intake of it. I do think that um, there's good in all um, supplements and um, different um, products that God made for us. However, you have to eat according to your body, especially I'm learning um, with the mineral balance size. I have a low sodium to potassium level, which um, shows that I um, am so more, can be more susceptible Two frequent infections. I mean, I've dealt with sinus problems all my life. It was super, um, even to the point when I was 19, they wanted to remove my um, nasal, I guess, passageways. I said, no, no, no. Okay. And I looked at that doctor like he lost his complete everlasting mind because I had a friend who did that and he, um, to this day, does not have his taste. His taste is not returned to him. So I refused. Shout out. Oh, thank God I had enough sense for that. Okay. Thank God. And thank God that my father was pre med. And he was um, a biologist and a, a, at one point in his life was a biology teacher for, for at the collegiate level. You know, so my father has been educating us, his, um, his um, children, his offspring about the medical industry, medicine and all that all my life. So um, now I done got off topic now, but <laughs> we just want to we hope that this was a very um, a helpful and useful video giving you ways to reduce inflammation within the body. We hope that you take, um, proceed. Um, some of these things, it's a very important time to be building. Um, oh, that's what we were, um, were talking about, dairy. So um, different things, like you talked about in the mucus in the mucus diet, there's different people such as Dr. Sabi, different um, practitioners that I've been to. Um, I know Dr. Paul Hader, even Dr. Eileen, they talk about um, reducing this type of eating that is, um, well, Dr. Eileen does um, believe in dairy, but the raw dairy, but overall eliminating the sugar. Some of the other practitioners that I spoke about, they are, they are talking about reducing inflammation within the body um, through the diet. So it is um, critical. All right. Get that immune. Girl, get that immune system in check. Okay. And girl, stop running up danger bombers. That's part of weakening the immune system too. <laughs> We're going to talk about them danger bonnets later on. <laughs> All right, y'all have a wonderful 
stress-free, positive day, okay? Talk to you later, dolls. Bye now. <laughs>